I enjoyed that much more than you. So our next act, um, we're going to read out this little blurby thing from the Literary Laundrette website. Um, I do know him, his name is Mark Blaney, he is amazing, but he's doing something a little bit um, special today. Uh, Mark Blaney presents his offbeat word cabaret, which includes a poem written backwards, the week in BG News, a world exclusive poetry magic trick, and a ballad for David Dimbleby. There will also be an extract from his new solo comedy show entitled Be Your Own Life Coach with ABBA. You're definitely going to stay for this one, aren't you, kids? It sounds amazing. Please can you welcome Mark Blaney! <laughs> Diet 
of a happy relationship. Photograph me, he said. We can remove our differences in the dark room. We won't split up just so that you could see what the getting back together sex would be. It was a great idea. We went to the beach. A dog with a stick in its mouth, dropping it because it's too big, then picking it up again. The tongue stared at us, its tongue of ink. That breed is so stupid, you said, although good with babies. I squeezed my hand. After you left, the floods came. I decided I needed to do something commemorative. I took a tin of tuna outside and released it. <laughs>
eighteen minutes. I am very sorry for this inconvenience. What makes it worse is that I am not even a real human being. You think you've got problems <laughs> with your train running eight in minutes late. Think of how bad things are for me. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for another proper bone. Okay, okay, this is called Work Do. An asteroid passed the Earth today. It hurtled along the rolling news in a bright, ignored space above our heads. Below, Steve is like a dad at a party, waiting until it's not impolite to leave. There's careful Kerry. Her nickname not because she's careful, but because everyone's careful around her, touching boobs. It's an icebreaker. There's Hannah, who's leaving, getting the rounds in, hoping they'll delay the final goodbye. We coil in worm-like to speak secrets in ears, and a girl in a black and white dress attracts coded attention. It's the rag end now, the time when strangers tip your chair back and ordinary things become worth celebrating and smoking bands can F themselves. Steve's on his feet, dancing to the 80s, which have made an unexpected return. And Hannah cries at losing the job she didn't like. Tomorrow, she has an interview at the Metalworks. Her father is about to get the all clear for that thing in his throat. Her daughter is almost conceived. An asteroid past the Earth. Thank you. <laughs> now, who's got the football? Never mind. <laughs> Latest results. Shakespearean football results. Breaking sports news. Final score at 16-11. Richard. Three, Henry, four. <laughs> Love's labours, lost. <laughs> Don, one. <laughs> Romy, O. <laughs> Julie, eight. <laughs> Gentlemen of Verona, two. Noble Kinsman, two. Knight, twelve. Athel, O. <laughs> Much ado about nothing. Comedy of errors, six. No, five, sorry, three. <laughs> the newly discovered Cardinio was a late kickoff. Sonnet, 14. Ophelia, none. <laughs>
Thank you, Carlisle. 